Hey guys, it's Danielle. Today is Monday, February 11th, 2013, and um, this is going to be my week three post-op video. Sorry. Um, week three post-op video, 20 days in Vended Bliss, and this is also my 101st video. Woo! I didn't know my last one was my 100th video, otherwise I would have celebrated that, but whatever. Um, for those of you who are just starting to watch me, I started my weight loss surgery journey in April 2013. That is a month after I found out my highest weight in March, two, oh my god, 2012, sorry guys, I just woke. 2012, I uh, found out I was my highest weight in March, went to a weight loss surgery seminar at the end of March, got a call, that was on a Friday, no, Thursday. I got a call on Monday, went to the doctors on Wednesday. So it all happened really fast, which I'm very excited and glad that it did. So, uh, I have, sorry guys, I just feel all thrown off today, and I think it's because I'm recording on my husband's computer. It's just, it's completely different. Um, so I had a pre-op a uh, medically supervised diet per my insurance requirements for six months, which ended up being nine months due to the holiday season and my plans for the holidays. So I did a pre-op diet for nine months. And in that nine months, it was from April to April 2012 to January 2013, I lost 64.6 pounds total. Yay. And so this week's numbers is I lost a pound exactly this week, which I am very happy for. Uh, I think it's starting to slow down because I'm not eating yet. I'm still on liquids and I'm not exercising due to the fact that I still have an open incision. So I'll talk more about that in a second. So with the one pound loss, that brings my total weight loss from whenever I started my pre-op diet in April of 2012 to 76.4 pounds down. That gives me a total weight loss from my highest weight of, that's backwards, I think it should be 85. Yeah, 85.4 pounds. There goes my wonderful brain. 85.4 down, 85.4 pounds down from March. Yeah, 2012. And a total uh, weight loss since surgery, January 22nd, 20 days ago to 12 pounds on my scale. Um, this is the one time that the doctor's clinic scales are higher than mine, which I'll take that, whatever. Um, last time I went to the doctor was not last Friday, the Friday before. Um, no, it was last Friday. Sorry, guys, whatever. Uh, they had me down 16 pounds, so I'll take it. Um... Uh, also, I'm sorry if there's a bunch of lag on this video. I can see it, like, it freezes every now and then. Hey, did I get my computer back on Tuesday? Um, NSV this week is this wonderful hoodie I am wearing. I bought this hoodie in June, June 2012, in, uh, I don't know if you read Leavenworth, Washington. Uh, it's where we got married. We were there again last June for our anniversary. And I wanted to get me something to work for. Um, so we did. This is a woman's medium hoodie. I, I'm still uncomfortable in it just because my other hoodie is a 2X and this is a medium. So it's definitely a lot smaller, but everybody on Facebook said it looks good. So I'm wearing it. Um, yeah, it's just different because like my pocket is up where your pocket's supposed to be, like by your belly button <laughs> before it's like, the other one was like in my groin area. So Whatever, they're both equally comfortable. Um, just to give y'all an update on how I'm doing, uh, this week, actually I've been pretty much pain free since the beginning of February, so about 10 days now. I haven't taken any Tylenol, I haven't taken any of my oxycodone, so been doing really good. Um, this morning I experienced some pain in my incision that is still open. Which, with that incision being open still, it starts to close and then it gets ripped open again and it starts to close and gets ripped open again. I go to the doctor on Thursday, Valentine's Day, to get my three-week incision check, to get 
talk to the dietitian with the group meeting to get moved on to the mushy pureed stage, I believe. Uh, they call it the soft diet. There's only three stages in my clinic's diet for food, so pray that goes well. But whenever we're going for the incision check, check and the weight check, I'm going to ask them to stitch it shut. I am going back to work. Oh, yeah, I should be going back to work on Monday. This is my last week of approved uh, leave. I took a leave of absence because the pain was a lot more than I thought, and I'm glad I did since my incision opened. Um, and the weight restriction that I have that my doctor required, uh, 15 pounds, no more for six weeks. Where I work, pretty much nothing is 15 pounds or less. So we will see how that goes. Sorry for cracking my fingers, but it feels good. Um, I have been getting in my protein uh, this actually past week. I've really been focusing on getting my protein. I've been changing it up. I've got uh, some samples from friends. I got some samples from family of different proteins to try. My mom sent me some protein from Texas, which is really good. However, I think it's almost too strong of a flavor for me, so it's one I'll be using whenever I start blending shakes again. Um, so that is very, I guess, exciting. Good. Getting it in. I am noticing, uh, I'm starting to feel hungry, but not like, oh my god, I need to eat hungry like before. It's more of my stomach saying, hey, there's nothing in me. Put some food in me. So it's more physical hunger, I guess you could call it, as opposed to the mental hunger of I'm bored, let's eat. Um, three days till I go to my doctor's visit, which I said. Um, also... I am so ready for summer, even though in summer I will probably have the same problem. But one of the things of weight loss surgery, um, little side effect thing is being cold. I am cold, I would say about 80% of the time. Um, but I'd rather take being cold than fat. Especially since this is the lowest I've ever been in my life that I can remember. I mean, obviously I had to be here once to pass it. <laughs> but yeah I'm cold a lot like my right now my hands are freezing my feet are freezing I usually uh, wear my lamb lambs around the house which for those of y'all who don't know my lamb lambs are the cloud nine lamb fur I guess it's their fur lined like moccasins and they are the best shoes I've ever had they're so sorry I realized they're like does that help it does help or at least I think it helps um if you don't have any, go get them. They're definitely worth the money, and they are so comfortable. Hmm. I've been getting in my vitamins. That's pretty good. Um. Oh my God, guys! You know how I said earlier um, that my protein I bought two bags. It's only like twenty days worth. Yeah, it's like more like forty days. I'm an idiot and. My husband makes fun of me because I go to college and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm so smart. I go to college. And he's like, you don't got street smart. <laughs> and, which I do, guys. I have, well, at least I think I do. I think I have some. But anyways, uh, I doubled the amount of calcium I'm supposed to be taking. <laughs> so, yeah. My protein will last, I mean, my calcium will last twice as long as I thought it was going to. So, whatever. Lesson learned. But I'm just going to talk to my doctor to clarify because I have two sets of paperwork that say two different things. Oh, well. You will see. Um. Oh. Doo -doo -doo. Also, I just want to say good luck to Kat. 11 is a heavenly number. She started a new job, so she's in that transition phase. And for all of us who are pretty much set in routines, we know how hard it is to change and then try to set up your new routine to work for you so you can keep doing what you're doing and being successful at your weight loss journey journey and life in general so good luck um also i haven't started exercising i mentioned that um it's driving me nuts because i'll walk and it's not like i, I don't feel like i'm doing anything if you've watched my videos before you know 
whenever I work out, I like to sweat. I work out for the sweat. I love the feeling of being drenched knowing I just worked my ass off. Walking doesn't do it for me. I mean, it's a good workout and it's a good way to burn calories. And I love to go on walks with my friends out on the trails and everything, but I am ready to get back into the gym. I am so ready to get back into the gym, but I'm scared to sweat into my incision. So we will see how it goes. Hopefully Thursday will be stitched up and I won't fear sweat getting in a lot or ripping it open more and more. Um, I think that is it. Sorry if the video is very choppy. Sorry I'm all over the place with it. But hopefully next week will be better. Hopefully next week I will actually not have a game because I'll be eating again. Hopefully next week I'll be able to report another loss because I've been cleared to work out or something along the lines of that. So um, I think that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Hello to all my subscribers. Hello to all my new subscribers. Hello to all my old subscribers who have been with me from the beginning. Thank you guys. And I will see you guys next week. And oh, also anybody on the East Coast who watches my videos, I hope everybody's doing fine. Um, the news said some people were going to work and I've seen on Facebook people said they're not going to work because it's not safe. Um, be safe out there. Don't push it. Watch out for them idiots on the road who think they can drive in snow and can't. Um, you know, when in doubt, stay home. Stay home and relax and enjoy the beautiful snow. Watching it. If not, get outside and burn some calories with it if you can. Um, go sledding. Be a kid again. Have fun with it. I mean, well, that's the best way, in my opinion, to burn calories is having fun. So, yeah. Everybody be safe over there. And I will talk to you guys later. Alright, bye.